Welcome on today's episode of Pinch House Garage, my second unboxing, and we're going to do unboxing and comparison. And we are going to be doing MK2 stock aftermarket comparison. So let's get to work because this is Pinch House Garage. Let's talk about the original uh, MK2 suspension. And now, uh, what this is, is this what we call a McPherson strut uh, setup. And MK2s actually had them uh, on, on the back uh, and front. What, uh, the rear is like a Mark III and Mark IV, where they're separate. MK2s and MK1s actually had them in one solid piece. So, it's pretty interesting how these suspensions work, but they work really well. Uh, what a McPherson strut is pretty much where the shock and the spring are one instead of it being a shock and a spring separate. So that's what's really cool about um, the suspension because it's a lot less work during your install. So when you see these guys, the Mark II's as well also use two bolts here and one on top to uh, bolt into the front suspension. And on the rear, it's literally two bolts that hold in the rear suspension down here and then the bolt is already attached to the shock so you just bolt it down to the, to the rear strut cap and that's pretty much it. So let's unbox the new uh, SolarWorks ones and let's show the comparison. Alright so I'm going to get up here and I'm going to open up the SolarWorks box. This is the first time I'm going to open it. We're going to move this sucker over. I'm excited because this is actually my personal first set of uh, SolarWorks coils. I've done quite a few installs already with this brand and every person that i ever done them on are very, very happy with this product. So I'm going to hopefully definitely enjoy these because every, like I said, every person I've done them on have been a very happy camper. box is actually pretty small, which is good, that way it just shipped to you quickly. Okay, so, the first long box, ah, open it up here, and this is actually the front, so, let's move this over, and this is the front one, let me take this out, this looks really nice actually. wrapped really really nicely and now the model number or the part number on these guys is S1VW002 uh, for the Mark II now they sell everything from I think Mark 1 all the way to Mark 7 uh, for coilovers so we're going to show you first the fronts in comparison to the uh, factory uh, fronts right here. <laughs> Huge difference. Look at this. Look at the difference in the actual spring size. Um, weight. So yeah, there's also, these are lighter. So there you go, you already got weight reduction. Uh, which is really cool. The coilovers pretty much have a primary spring and what we call a helper spring. And remember the order that they go in, don't reverse them. Um, so you got your locking nut, your strut cap. We got a little uh, little dust boot right here. And then two uh, lock washers here. So you can lock the coilover in place. So it's very, very nice. I love the color. Definitely a big fan of the blue. 
And these things are fully threaded. The body, I mean, this is, a, this thing probably goes pretty dang low. I don't know how low we're going to go on it until we actually get some wheels on the car. But very, very, very nice. I love the construction on this already. And what's really cool, and I'll show you guys in just a minute, I just don't want this to wobble on me while I'm moving it around. The bottom right here is identical. So they built it to a T pretty much. So if you have to bolt in or uh, use these for your brake lines uh, or your any sensors, I mean, they are identical. There's no, uh, uh, like, you're not compromising. You're trying to figure out a way to mount stuff again. This is done correctly and very, very nicely with a weight reduction. And obviously these are actually stiffer springs. So you're gonna ride a lot better, especially on the Mark II. Um, so I'm very, very happy just on the fronts right now. So let's take out the rears. Well, I'll take out the other front. That way it doesn't sit all by itself. The packaging, like I said, I keep on saying, is done very, very nicely. Very impressed with it. No, I'm not going to get a product all banged up and dinged. I don't know about you guys, but a lot says about a company when it ships something nicely or poorly. I, I've gotten some cheap coilovers, aka Raceland, you know, and they ship them literally in cardboard boxes with nothing in them sometimes. You know, I got nothing wrong with them. I mean, they are cheap coilovers. These are a big step up from from uh, from Raceline uh, coils. Just so you know. So let's see what else you get in the box before I show you guys the rear. You get two spanner wrenches. Ah, I was waiting for this. Ooh, wow! We get some pretty cool stuff in here. I got two lanyards. I've never gotten lanyards from any cause. So, I mean, I've never gotten anything from a manufacturer. So, I bought my wife uh, Bilstein PSS 9s, which are $1,700 coilovers. I didn't even get a sticker in the box. They gave me two lanyards, two stickers, uh, some Boschiel T9 waterproof lubrication so what this is for for the threads here uh, this stuff prevents your threads from rusting and locking in place right here they give you a set of instructions and they tell you what to do to start your process uh, so one thing they give you here is like I said this is really nice uh, what SolarWorks is giving you however uh, yeah, just a bunch of instructions. Not bad. I like this a lot. And they actually give you a breakdown um, of the maximum and minimum, pretty much, of uh, height and everything. Wow, this is legit. Good work, SolarWorks. Good work. This is pretty cool. I definitely recommend, before you even do your install, read your, uh, read your little instruction manual, because that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, I got some stickers to put on the Mark II. Some lanyards of sport. I'm definitely going to be sporting the blue one here right now. Yeah, buddy. All right. So we're not even done yet. All right. Now the rear. Ooh. Just as nicely packed as the first, uh, as the front. Like that. And still even smaller than the, than the factory one, which probably is going to come with the benefit of lighter weight. So, no, these are a little bit heavier. 
a little bit heavier than the than the rear than the original rears. So they pretty much same style. You'll see here, very similar setup. This is the factory one. You roll these over. So, still again, smaller than the factory ones. Just visually, there's just almost an inch and a half difference in just overall uh, roundness. Um, another good thing to do a comparison, the actual uh, valving or the actual shock itself is meteor. So that means you're gonna be getting a stiffer, better ride than factory on these guys. So it's gonna be really nice. Of course, you also got your height, and you could probably dump them. I don't know how low these go, but we're gonna find out when we put them on the Mark II. Um, when we have to actually roll it out to go for paint, when we get to that point. Uh, but yeah, same construction as the front ones. Very, very nice. I love the blue. Um, however, the spring setup is actually reversed on the rear. So the primary spring is on top, and the helper spring is on the bottom. You still get the two locking. Uh, washers here. I'm going to tighten these up a little bit. Very nice. Not as fully threaded as the as the fronts, but more than likely because it's a smaller body, so I don't think the car is going to need to go that low in the back because they're pretty light, so I don't think there's much of a difference, but this is very, very, very nice construction. Um, very nice packaging. I mean, everything about these coils is already a win from factory. You know, the reason why we're doing an unboxing and a comparison is just so you guys can see that you're not changing very much in what you're saying in the original aspects from one, uh, from one uh, part to another and you're just doing an upgrade. A lot of people freak out when you guys go to aftermarket suspensions because they think, hey, it's aftermarket, it might not fit, it might not look the same, it might be the same, you might not, you might have to actually change parts around to make things work. Well, don't worry, this is the whole point of watching PGL's Garage Unboxing, so we can show you that there isn't much of a change besides what it looks like and not how it performs. Okay, well actually, performance is also a change because you're getting stiffer suspension. But that's different, I mean, and what it's meant to do. <laughs> the last but not least box here. Oh, and by the way, we're going to be installing these pretty much uh, in like two, three days. So stay tuned for a DIY for that, because that's coming too. The Mark II is coming along very, very nicely. No hiccups yet, so I'm glad about that. Let's see here. Again. Very, very nice packaging. I can't just re stop repeating myself. I like that. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. Very, very nice. Very good work, Solo Works. Very impressed uh, with the quality. Very impressed with the packaging. Very impressed with how fast I got these. I got these next day, just FYI, when I ordered these. They're actually uh, shipped and sold from Fresno, California. So that's very cool. If you live in California, you can get your stuff literally next day without a hesitation. It's, it's pretty impre impressive in how fast I got these. Um, the moment they were in stock, I pressed order, got them in here, and it's done. Uh, so, again, thanks for everybody from SolarWorks for getting these fast. Thank you for the quality packaging. Thank you for the awesome construction. Uh, and I, my wife and I are very excited to see how these are going to turn out once everything's done in the car and how the car arrives and performs. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to put up some links. So, down below, we're going to have a description and a link to order your SolarWorks products. And go straight to their website. Uh, don't forget that SolarWorks is an awesome company and they make their products here in the United States. Uh, 
they pretty much ship and sell them all here. I don't know about the manufacturing process, but I know I get everything here from the U.S., so that's very cool. I know a lot of the guys actually from SolarWorks, so what's up, dudes? Thank you again for the product. Um, oh, and don't forget that Big Al's Garage has a brand new online store. Just hit the button on the upper right-hand corner on the screen. Uh, you can go straight to my online store and you can order brand new Beach House Garage t-shirts, lanyards, stickers, and my own parts store as well. Oh, thank you, babe. Uh, we have buttons now. Uh, there you are. Little uh, Beach House Garage buttons. Uh, for your hats, for your t-shirts, for your jackets, for your backpacks, all that. Thanks again, everybody. Much love. Peace out. This is a Beach Owls Garage second unboxing. Thanks again for watching.